What's up, America? I didn't see you there. I was just uh, catching up on my reading. Hey, uh, can you uh, handle that for me, Jacob? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> well, uh, since you're here, welcome back to a new season of Doing It With Style. I am your handsome host. I think you already know. I am the absolute Jalen Shamar Anderson. <laughs> you thought you were going to get rid of me that easily? Oh, no, oh, no. I'm going to stick around as long as I can be. And that's no problem to anyone. <laughs> so uh, we're going to do things a little differently this season. Um, I'll probably be having some special guests on future shows, you know, just to see how, you know, America, you know, how you see from uh, another person's perspective other than the absolutes. But um, for this episode, I just want to talk about a serious topic, and it's been really bugging my mind for about quite some time now. And it's mainly involving the black community. Um, recently, I just came across um, a news outlet, and I just seen that yet another uh, police officer has gunned down yet another black man. And when I looked at it, it was, I don't know, nowadays it's kind of, yeah, same old, same old, you know, it's really nothing all that new. But how I interpret it, um, with me being so insightful, I started to wonder exactly when is all this going to change, you know? I think us as a community, we always wonder, you know, how, when, when is this ever gonna, I don't know, just, when, when are we gonna escape this, this cycle, this endless cycle that we've been living with for the past, I don't know, years? It's, um, it's really to a point where people are just kind of starting to lose hope, you know? And it's kind of sad to see because it's something that no one really should have, should wonder. Hope is something that everyone should have in their lives. And with this, it's it's kind of, it's, it's crazy, really. It's really, really crazy. The world is just, I don't know, It's an, really, it's enough to make anyone crazy, really. But how I interpret it, us as a black community, we got to hold ourselves accountable. Now, home, now, hold on, America. I'm not saying that we're in the wrong. I'm just saying that a lot of the times things don't just go the way it seems like in another person's eyes where this person could believe that this guy was in the wrong or he was in the right or it could be vice versa with the other guy. And with the whole story that I just said with the police officer, you know, gunning down yet another black man. And it was a no-knock warrant. He basically just burst into the guy's apartment and stuff. And, you know, kind of what happened, you know, when, with me saying that. Um, but then again, it's, it's really sad to see the black community, you know, kind of on a downward spiral. Um, it, you, you, you always come across news outlets and media platforms talking about certain things like that, whether it's, you know, hey, hey look, yet yeah, another black man got gunned down. Hey, 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 hey look, you know, we, 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 what, what, what if black man were a part of that Capitol riot in January 6th last year? We could see a, we could see a base, a all out massacre. I mean, we, yeah, I know it's depressing. I know it's sound, you know, but still, it, 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 it's to a point where you just got to think about type of things like that. And how I see it, I now with me, I don't have a problem with anyone. You know, whether you're African American, whether you're Caucasian, whether you're Asian, whether you're, you know, Hispanic, Latino, anything. I don't. I don't have a problem with anyone because I was raised to treat everyone with respect. And if that person don't show you that kind of respect, then you just let that person, you know, do do what they want to do. But 
mainly involved in this community, I'm just, it's to a point where we got something got something's got to give. We got to do better. You know, I don't want to say that, like I say, I don't want to say that it's entirely our fault, but there has been instances where things could have been handled a little differently, and hopefully in the future, I really, really hope that something happens that will benefit, you know, not just us as a black community, but everyone in general. Now, I know America, I know that's something that is, that, that could happen in a perfect world, and we don't live in a perfect world, so there's pretty much no such thing as something like that, but you gotta you gotta be insightful. You gotta you gotta keep hoping for the best that something will happen good at the end. Cause you don't wanna go through life just thinking, uh, this uh man, this is same old, same old, uh no, man, we ain't gonna worry about it. No, you don't wanna go through life just keep thinking about the negatives. You always gotta be positive. And you already know about me. I'm always a positive person, I'm always spewing my positivity out there in America, so it's just something where we just got to do better in. And it's it's been a topic that I've been really, really wanting to talk about and something that's just been occurring in my mind for about, you know, I would say years. So um, I just wanted to, you know, give my thoughts about it. And hopefully, I, you know, America, you, you know, take my thoughts and opinions, what I just said, and, you know, interpret it how you think it is and, you know, just go from there. But uh, I think that pretty much wraps it up. I appreciate everyone out there for tuning in to the new season of Doing It With Style with the absolute Jalen Shamar Anderson. And I will be sure to check up on you guys next time. Like I say, I'm not going anywhere, and hopefully you guys want to. So be safe, be caring, and remember, do it with style or don't do it at all.